Have you faced a problem like this where the nut makes this sound? You either have to break the stud or damage the hex. Then you will need a special tool to hold that nut. Hello, it's Solimic. So I'm about to make a video on how to clean exhaust valves and intake valves with walnut shell. In scope camera was so hard to reach the valves from oxygen sensor hole. It was so difficult to pass that curve. So I needed to remove the exhaust to take a good quality before and after pictures and videos. But the problem is I can't take it unless I'm using my DSLR camera. This is the problem I'm facing right now from undoing exhaust nut. That's pretty normal for a part of the engine heats up and gets cold all the time. Removing them will be hard, sometimes it will break the stud if you are not careful. Even I used WD-40 and let it penetrate for a while, but it was making same sound. So I didn't take any risk to break that stud. So the solution for a problem like this is heating the nut. The heat will expand the nut and break it loose, but not by using flame, but using induction heater. Here I have flameless heater from Vevor. It comes with very simple user manual including bolt size and how long to heat it. Proper way to use it with few simple steps. I like when the manual comes with easy step like this and explaining with pictures than reading few pages. Here is the heater. It has hard plastic body with one button and no other adjustable knobs. The longer you press the button, the longer it heats up. But in the manual it tells you how many seconds to hold the button for what size of bolts to stay on the safe side. For changing the heads, it has quick release and lock mechanism. No need to use other tools for changing the heads. It comes with many different wire heater sizes depending on the application you are using. It comes two quantities from each wire shape in case if you lose any so you have a backup. Depending on the bolt size, I will use the 30mm coil wire because it's less than 20mm bolt. And then we have to heat it up from 25 to 30 seconds. Here is the coil size and I will use the small one which is 30mm. That quick locking mechanism is very useful when you are working and you are in a hurry. You don't need to tighten up any knobs or looking for a screwdriver to tighten the wire heater. Alright, I will put back the right size wire back and then we will heat that knot. Couple few notes before using, make sure the insulated nut burn it, that's after using for a few times. It must have a good gap between the heater and the nut. Make sure the wire inserts it all the way to the black insulator. Alright, here goes nothing. Depending on the manual, we have to heat it up from 25 to 30 seconds. Just make sure to keep it in the center and not touching the sides, otherwise it will burn the insulator on the wire. It really made it so easy, just imagine if you don't have this tool and you break that stud, how much it will cost to replace that stud. Alright, we're gonna do the same procedure on the other side, even though I didn't use any WD-40 for penetrating. This is not real time speed, I didn't want you guys to watch that scene for 25 seconds, but at the end of the video, I will leave you guys with real time and showing temperature as well. This is so satisfying and easy for undoing exhaust nuts. One of the tips I can give you to keep the heat consistent, keep the nut in the center and not touching the sides of the wire heater. Another safety tip that you should consider, never turn it on without load, otherwise you will damage the heater or the heater wire. I consider this is one of the must tools to have if you are working on your car consistently like me. We all working on used cars. So we will always face bolt like this or a nut like this that not breaking loose or we end up breaking it. Favors flameless heater link will be in the video description box below for more technical information or purchasing. Now I will leave you guys with heating up this 19mm nut and showing temperature at the same time. You will have a good idea how long it will take to reach any certain temperature. The intake and exhaust valve cleaning video will be coming soon so make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.